Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today is a new day. I hope you had a good sleep last night. I hope you woke up ready to start your day today. So today I got up, I felt really good, slept really good. We had a nice yesterday. It was pretty warm yesterday. It was pretty warm yesterday. <laughs> spent most of our evening in the pool which was nice the pool is definitely getting warmer and warmer I'm like it seems to like the heat just seems to intensify during the evening hours but it was good we stayed out and then we got to see um, we looked up in the sky and we saw the satellites flying by I'm like look at that going across the sky we saw it twice which was really neat so we did that home I'm mixing outside when we lived in the mountains we were at the park one time late at night um, I don't know if kids were playing homeschool I think it was like I don't even know it was some kind of uh, activity in the community but we looked up in the sky and saw that floating overhead and I was like oh my goodness in the mountains we can't really see the sky very much because there's so many trees so just never got to see it we only got to see it that one night so here last night we got to see it go over and then we saw like another one go so I have to look and see because I can't remember if you see it every night at the same time or just certain times a year I'm not sure. I'm sure we'll look it up and see, but that was kind of neat to look at last night. And we came in and just went to sleep. We had a good night. And then this morning I'm up, got my cup of coffee. I've been upstairs working on a few things and then decided to come down and start my day. So our goal today, we have a goal. There's always a goal for the day. The goal for today is get to the beach. So and we have really good beaches here in the Gulf of Mexico, real nice by us. So we've gone, I think we've only swam once at it, which is crazy, right? We live right by it. I think we've only swam once. We've gone to a couple sunsets, which is nice, but we are planning to go and swim today. We don't want to go all day because it's like 110 degrees real fill, and that's awesome. We don't have a sunshade right now, and that just screams sunburn. <laughs> so we're thinking, let's get up, start our day, get some things done around the house, and then head out later in the afternoon. But maybe everybody changed plans and they'll want to go early in the afternoon. I don't know. We're going to see. So for me as a homemaker, what I've learned is just get up, start your day, and like have everything done that you want to get done, and then you'll be ready to go whenever. And if you stay home longer, then you can get some other things done. So that is what I am doing this morning. So I've been up, did some work on my desk, and then I'm like, let me, I threw in one load of laundry with bathing suits, and I think I need to make sure that they're all in there so that we're ready. And um, I'm thinking to not eat at the beach, just take snacks because we can have meals here. I'm gonna make a crock pot full of chili because chili is amazing when you're um, you know, hot and all that good stuff. No, it's good. It's just something I can throw in the crock pot and everybody likes it. So, <laughs> And it doesn't heat up the house because it does get awful hot in here. So I'm gonna, I started cooking some hamburger and I've got some taco meat in my refrigerator. I think I've got some other things to gather up. We're gonna make a big old pot of chili. And then that way they can eat that whenever, either before we go, after we go, whenever. And then we can just take snacks. We have a lot of snacks. We have a lot of snacks still in the cupboard. And so I think that's gonna be our day today. I'm not sure what else. We did our blinds finally for the front window way down there. I'll put the clip in here. Greg installed these last night for me, which was really nice. Those came, they're definitely thinner. I had to custom order them from um, Amazon and they're definitely thinner than the ones that I got at Home Depot, or not Home Depot, where did I go? Lowe's, but I mean, they work. It could, I couldn't get the one that I wanted at Lowe's that size, they just didn't make them. But this one I got, Amazon had it, ordered it, it works. Now all of our windows are covered, which is a good thing. So out with my, my boho, I don't even know if they are, bamboo type blinds. They were good, but just not, a little too see-through. So I didn't realize how see-through they were until we moved in here and Greg walked outside. He's like, honey, you can see right through those blinds in the middle of the night. I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm glad no one's walking through the house, you know, undressed or anything. So glad to have those. That should help with all of the sunshine in the home because it's a sunny. I can't wait for like when it we don't it's like a less cooler and we can have them wide open and the sun can just beam in the house because the windows are nice they have a nice design on them and I'm like that'll be really nice just to have that sunshine come in that natural light but for now most of the stuff is closed to try to keep the house cool so let's start making food I'm gonna get um, over here we got some hamburger cooking I'm gonna I think I have I have some taco meat in the refrigerator and I also have some, some black beans and corn mixture, but I think it has asparagus in it. So I think I'm gonna pull the asparagus out. I know, I'll eat that for breakfast and then I can add that to it as well. I'll go get some cans of beans. It's gonna be a great day. You ready for a great day? Okay, let's go over here to the slow cooker and just start adding stuff to it, gathering fragments and make some delicious taco chili for the day. That sounds good. All right, let's go. So I'm gonna use my slow cooker liner so I do not have to clean out the crack pit later, which is a really good thing. I'm gonna put this inside. This worked out so good for my beef liner. I'm like, just pull it out. Didn't even have to clean out my slow cooker. 
Okay, let's put this in here. mixing back in. So for true gather your fragments, you're gathering up anything so it doesn't go to waste. I've got a whole thing of taco meat here. I'm going to put that in my pan. I'm going to heat it up in there. I could just put in slow cooker and let it do it, but it'll take a lot longer. I have a sloppy joe. One sloppy joe. No one is eating it. It will not get eaten. You know what I'll do? Instead of throwing the entire thing away, I will just throw away the bun and keep the meat. Yeah, that's... That's okay. It's like it's better than wasting the entire burger. No one's, I mean, it's like one. Yes, somebody could eat it, but nobody's eating it. So I'm just going to kind of cut up because it got a little smushy with the bun. The top layer and then put that in here. I'm going to heat that up too. That is gathering those fragments up. And then, see this bowl right here? I have, this is the corn. It's that, um, whatever that corn is I got from Costco. It's not getting eaten. So I'm going to just pull out the asparagus. Would anybody else pull up the asparagus? I'll pull up the asparagus. <laughs> because asparagus and chili is not good. I'll just pull it out real quick because I'll eat it. But just, just not gonna eat all of it. No, we can put that in our chili too. But that's being honest, that's most people just taking that and throwing that one burger in the trash and the rest of those veggies out, true? So gather them up, use them. So I'm gonna put this in here, this is all cooked. I'll add my tacos. Oh, it's poultry. Hold on, wrong one. Add the right one. Taco seasoning to this. The chili is a winner in our house. It's like one of those things that will not go bad. So that's why I was like, the little bit taco meat and the little bit of um, sloppy joe. It's like that will get eaten. Okay, so there's one more. Don't put the asparagus into the chili. I can just heat that up separate. I can just eat that with some eggs today. I don't mind that, but they won't. Is that in there? That's a good thing. Okay, let me add my beans to it. I've got some black beans. I've got some pinto beans, chili beans, and kidney beans. I think I'm going to add these to it and just mix it all up. Something else we're not eating that we don't love is this salsa. I think I got one from, bought one from Detweiler's and I bought one from Aldi and we just don't love it. So look at, pour it right in there. It's just tomatoes, it'll work. I probably could add some more liquid to this, I'm thinking. I'm definitely gonna have to probably add some liquid. It's very thick. But this is gonna be a nice, hearty thing of chili. Let's go see if I got more canned corn as well. This is going to be one of those chilies where everybody's like, it's the best chili ever, Mom. I'll never be able to mimic it because it's all random foods thrown together. <laughs> this is good. Just plug it in. I'm going to turn it on high and let it heat up. It's simple. It's taco seasoning and ranch powder, and that's it with any kind of stuff. We like chili beans, kidney beans, black beans, pinto beans, diced tomatoes usually, but I added all that salsa so I don't need to. So whatever you have, you have leftover taco stuff in your refrigerator, put that in there as well. So... This will be good. Let me uh, just do a pickup of the kitchen. It's an easy, it's an easy day. I like easy days.
breakfast, so kind of picking up my kitchen a little bit left me on a deep dive of like, what are we gonna make for food? Cause I'm getting low on groceries again. Didn't I just go shopping? I had to look back and I'm like, it's been two weeks and I feel like we're almost out of food, <laughs> which is crazy. I'm not totally, but pretty much almost. So that led me into like, what are we gonna make for the weekend? So that's why I just sat and made a whole big list. So tomorrow, Friday, unless life changes and it could change, I plan on getting up and making Gather Your Fragment weekend because there's a lot of Gather Your Fragments. So I got that list rolling. I'm trying to use up things in my freezer. There's a lot of like miscellaneous things. So I've got that list rolling over there. So that led me into like, okay, I need to make a grocery list again. I think, did I even, I didn't do a monthly one, did I? No, I didn't. I just literally just made like a few weeks out. So I think the last time it was only two weeks worth of meals. So I need to kind of stretch that a little bit more and plan a little bit more heavily, but that's okay. I will. I can do that this weekend. That'll be a good thing to do. So everything's picked up. I left out the cashews and cranberries right there. Sorry, right there. I really like eating that with some cheese. That's been like my favorite go-to snack lately. I know you can buy those things at the store. They're super ridiculous expensive, but I just bought some myself. I bought sharp cheese and Colby Jack. And then I realized that I, th I think the package has sharp, but I just like the Colby cheese. So I'm like, I just need to get Colby cheese. So that's a good snack because we have all of those nuts in the freezer. Like I have tons of the mixed nuts from um, discount store. So we've actually ate through one whole cashew. We're on our second one here. This is really delicious. It's been good to have nuts lately. I don't know. So those have been a good little meal for us. So I'm just thinking like what else? The house is picked up. It's quiet. It's good. The kids are going to like, everybody has like one chore. I mean, it literally is not much to do. I've got somebody shot back in the stairs. Somebody give Maxine a bath, putting dishes away as one, picking up the living room and like the vacuums are going to do the floor. It's easy. It's like an easy, like easy. Life is much easier. It really is. It's like, it seems like we are constantly picking up, constantly cleaning, constantly. There was always a mess. So, so it just seems to be getting easier and not having much of a cleanup. So I'm sealing my pot pool bubble away out there. I'm like, do I go outside and swim? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do here this morning. It's like, I'm going to be, I should go do a grocery list is what I should do. Shouldn't I? When I'm in my spare time here. So I'm just thinking, what should I do for my couple hours here before we go? And I might go get a grocery list together. Like a, a menu, not really so much a list, but get a menu for meals. That might be a good thing to do. So let me run upstairs and I'll go get my notepad and then we'll sit here and plan some dinners. We can do that. So I'm going to sit here for a few minutes and just, I think I'm going to plan out for the whole month. So at least there's something there, like the, you know, like chicken or beef. So I know I have it. And then that way I can always run into every two weeks and get our milk and eggs and bread and that. So just different, like learning different. I think a lot of you said you're going to cook differently. You're going to have different kind of meals. So I think that we definitely will. I know we want to cook a lot more outside just because of the heat. So now that we have a little griddle out there, we were talking last night, we were like, ooh, patty melts would be really good. And Rubens would be really good. And so we've been just brainstorming. So I'm going to make some, instead of getting crazy dinners, like I plan, like last time I started planning some dinners and stuff. And I was like, it was a lot of things that like random weird things that we probably would not like. So I need to stick to more basic and what everybody likes. So I'm going to make a list here and then, uh, it'll be good. I'll share with you in a minute. I've got my cookbook out. I pulled out, I've got a bunch of cookbooks upstairs. I pulled another one out. This one I got when I went to the Mennonite store up in Sandusky. Just, it's good to get ideas. Ideas are a good thing to have. Inside doing my grocery menu, and I'm like, what is that noise? Look outside, the sprinklers are working. We've got some right there, we've got that one on the yard right there. Look at that, they're actually working. So look at that, they're working. I thought they were coming another yard, Doug said. I don't even see it, but that is cool. I need to move this right here because this is dead. I think it's pretty heavy. It's not really connecting. It's too much of a living body. Look at that, that's a water in the yard. It's awesome. Okay, so we need to move this. Is it super heavy? Oh no, I need to put this out in the yard. It's dead. Lack of water. I'm gonna do that for that item. Let's stick it like right here. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get all wet. Okay, here we go. We let it get all watered. So I was just sitting here planning out my menu and I heard this noise. I'm like, what is that noise? And I went outside. The sprinklers are popped on. So that's exciting. So the sprinklers work. How great is that? Maxine's ready to go. So let me let her out real quick. 
So what I did is I, I can't even look through this recipe book. I was just thinking easy meals. So, so I planned out burgers. I figured burgers, we can just do regular burgers. We're gonna get the special sauce, make that up. And then I thought we could do like patty melts and then like, I think they're kind of, they call them American, Wisconsin cheese melts. It's basically American cheese with Texas toast. So I wrote that down and also put different sides to get like some curly fries and then also potato chips and dip cause that's really easy and good. Pizza, pizza's a given because everybody loves pizza. Kids just like cheese pizza, so I thought, oh, simple. Make sure we have cheese, make sure we have sauce. They like the Alfredo sauce on hand, so just make sure I have that. Put that in the smoker, that's an easy dinner for the week. And then taco meat. I figured we'd do two walking tacos, like once, twice during the month. We can do tortillas, we could do a flatbread taco because we like that too. And then I'm like, we haven't had a lot of chicken. We need to have chicken, but chicken takes time to repair and I'm not doing it really a lot in my oven right now because it's so warm out. So I thought, why don't I get some skewers and do them out on the fryer, do like chicken kebabs. So I thought, I saw a recipe for a pineapple or a Chinese chicken. So I wrote that one down and then I've, I'm going to get more of that pineapple habanero sauce. I know you can make it but I think it was like $5, I know it's a lot, but I'm gonna see if Walmart has it at that debt weather. I'll probably go get more of that. What else did I have? And then another one was just with Italian dressing because I bought all that Italian dressing and never made any pasta dishes with it. And then like a Chinese-y kind of one, like a soy sauce with sesame seed oil and ginger and whatever we can throw in there. And I thought we could just have that with rice, easy. And broccoli, very simple. And then I did some easy dinners, like chicken patties, taco chili. I have meatballs, just meatballs with spaghetti sauce because they like spaghetti that way. A beef stroganoff, that's another staple. And then I looked in my pantry and I have like that nasi goring rice. I thought kielbasa, I could do some kielbasa. There's that would be one kielbasa, no, kielbasa with just potatoes and green beans and a slow cooker. That's a simple dish, easy, they like it. And then another one with fettuccine. But the problem is getting the dairy free because Jensen can't have that. But I did realize I have that powder, cheese powder we got at Sam's Club and that worked good with his tummy, which was interesting. But I have a white cheddar one, so I thought, I can make him that sauce because he didn't really like the, he doesn't like the nutritional yeast sauce taste and that's fine. So I just got rid of it. I'm like not even going to keep it. So I'm on to finding a different thing that he likes. So that was another easy, I mean, and then hot dogs. Those would be like our hot dog, kielbasa kind of meals. And then they were asking for soup. The kids were like tomato soup. I'm like, okay, well, tomato soup, grilled cheese. That would be an easy meal. Chicken noodle soup they asked for. So I thought I'd get some lunch meat. We could just do sandwiches. Um, I thought I'd get canned chicken. Nothing wrong with cooking it and freezing it, but just canned chicken's easy. Make chicken salad. That's an easy thing you have. And then wraps. So we'll do wraps and then potato soup. Because I think this weekend I'm going to make, I'm going to open up my big giant can of um, diced tomato potatoes. So I'll freeze the rest. So I thought I could do a potato soup because I have that. And then um, Brooklyn asked for ground bologna. Like my mom would always make ground bologna. But you can't just take bologna, package bologna, because it's slimy. You need like deli bologna where it's like the ring bologna or like a chunk of it so i need to i'm thinking like Publix. i can go in there and see that and then what i was doing i was just getting some so that's simple those are simple easy meals like easy they're mostly outside or if not outside they're in the slow cooker for right now that's a good thing to have while it's really hot out so i'm just kind of getting now i'm going to plan some like smoothies my kids love smoothies lately so i'm going to get more strawberries get tons of bananas and then make sure we have either almond milk or the lactic milk on hand that's an easy breakfast so i'm planning those things out and then what else um getting a few like random snacks and stuff to make so we can have some like this like they love slushies once a week so I'll make sure that i go get soda for the slushies to have that in there and then a couple treats on the way you know those are always good things too so doing good getting that done good morning but i've got my whole like a whole lot planned out here so i've got meals for the entire month will we go back again and get more probably or probably leave stuff in the pantry or the freezer that always happens but using things up that's a good thing and like a lot of stuff in my head my cupboard and then got stuff for i didn't really write stuff for breakfast kids because you usually just eat eggs so breakfast ideas smoothies and i bought got some couple snack ideas just different treats to make like s'mores and banana pudding because i have banana pudding and I know there was like double chocolate crumble and chocolate eclair and chocolate bean donuts because I have a lot of beans, just different things to make. Some ice cream options, always ice cream options because let me get that down, ice cream options. Some different ideas and like I said, nothing is set to a T, but just simple and easy. I didn't go anything crazy or anything weird because that's what I did with my last one and I was like, all right, we're not gonna eat any of that stuff. Basic, keep basic. It's okay to throw something new in there once in a while, like some of the chicken recipes were new, but for the most part, it's just basic and easy. So now that I have this plan, I can just uh, go shopping next week as you know, time allows Monday or Tuesday. We'll see what happens. So for now, I'm gonna be done, clean my mess, and then uh, see what we're gonna do, and then we're gonna be heading out for the beach today. All right, so today has been a good, it's been a good chill day. Like, I'm excited. We're gonna go to the beach here in a little bit. So it's been a very, like, 
not too crazy of a day. Like I got my whole list of like, look at that, that's a meal plan for the month. I know, I need to, I, I get, get like big ideas. The problem is, these are all simple ones, which are good. Then I just sat down at my computer and I printed off a grocery, my main grocery list, which is not super up to date yet, yet because we're in Florida, it's all new based on how we're eating. But I did a deep dive on my, I had food ideas. Like I have, I'll get ideas on my phone and I'll sometimes look through them, but most of the time I take them to my laptop and I put them on my computer just because I like a clean phone. So I started looking at like recipes I've like copied and saved over the years that I've never even made. Does anybody do that? Yeah, like how many cookbooks or how many magazines do you get and never make the recipe? I'm very guilty of that. So I just sat here and was looking through it. I'm like, oh, that looks good, that looks good. So I started doing that which I did that last month a little bit and that left me on to like we didn't end up eating that stuff. So I kept it very small, very small for the couple ideas. I just added a couple to here and then I wrote down for the next month in September to look on the computer at those kind of recipes because some of them are more oven, crock pot, that kind of thing because we're just going to be eating different. I'm sure we are. So it's been good. So what else do we do? Um, we had food. I made a couple eggs and um, had that with some bread toast this morning or this afternoon and I'm drinking my water right now. And one thing I did do is I went out and tried to, my, I had on my list to clean the windows. The windows downstairs we cleaned. The upstairs windows I went to clean. Well, I think mostly, I don't even know if you'll see if it's too bright. I don't think you actually need to see the window, but my window what happens is I was like, why do they have a screen on the upstairs? Remember they took them off on all the downstairs? Now I know why, because with the humidity, mold gets in between the screen and the window and it makes it moldy. So I wanted to clean it. These windows are not like my windows back in North Carolina where they're double paned and I can open them. They're not like that. So I tried to like, I went outside, I thought maybe I could just spray them with the hose. We have like a high pressure nozzle. I did that and I'm like, okay, it didn't work 100%, still had mold. So then I opened the window, I took a sponge, with some dish soap. And I scrubbed the sponge like with the soap concentrated and then I went back downstairs. Mind you, I did it on the three windows on the side of the house. Went up downstairs and sprayed it so that um, I could have, see that would get that off there. <laughs> and so that didn't work. It started to, but it was still pretty slimy. So then I'm like, I went back down again and did it again. And like it started to, it's just not completely. Power washer, that's okay. I'm gonna have to get the power washer out to do it. And I will, just not today. And so then I um, opened it up and I thought, maybe I could stick my like Norwex wand inside there and kind of scrub. Well, there wasn't much room and then it made me realize just push the screen out. So I took my screen out of my office window and I just threw that down and put it in the garage. No big deal. <laughs> I'm like, the, it cleaned the window better, but I was like, okay, it's still kind of, it's just got like mold in it. So I don't know. If, over time, if like rinsing it, we'll do that. We're gonna have to get the power wash out. Something I'm not gonna do, so no big deal. But that was what took me a little while today. It took that, probably took an hour doing that, going back and forth, upstairs, downstairs, upstairs, crying myself, doing things. But I wanted to like, I look at my window and I'm like, it looks moldy. So something I tried, but I marked it off my list, which was a good thing. So now I'm down to like simple things like go through my phone pics and do a grocery list, that kind of stuff. So that's where I'm at right now. So I thought, why don't I come in here Why kids are kind of doing the chores. Everybody's kind of doing their own thing right now. So I'm going to sit and look at this wonderful, my, my menu planning. I need, what I need to do now, which I never do is plan it up for a month on a month calendar. I never do that. I always have it on here. I never am like set in stone. I probably should be set in stone. Should I be set in stone? I could, it would help to make um, like the food that's going to go bad get better. So I might do that. I might, I might. Maybe I'll print off a, a monthly thing or I can put it in my little planner here too. Maybe I just print it off. I was going to do the menu out for the month, but I'm like, I can't do that because my days change so much. So some days I might have to leave at dinner time or sometimes I'm home all day and I can make a different meal. So I'm going to leave that as is. I just went and highlighted the ones that have to be eaten up first or the ones I have to do kind of food prep for. So then when I look at it, I go, okay, make sure we do this first or this first, you know, just because based on the food that's gonna go bad. So that's done. I wrote, <laughs> I kind of wrote most of my stuff. I need to go now downstairs, which I'll do probably today, if not this weekend, and kind of look through and see what am I out of that's based on my list here. And then what I'll do, which I won't show you all this, I'll come back to my computer and anything I added new, I probably will add it to my, um, my monthly new Florida one because, um, just because we're buying some different things. There's different things that I can find here, all good things. So I'm excited. I'm like, okay, that takes time. That takes a lot of time. I get food planning, all that stuff. It takes time out of your day. So I can understand why it's like, ah, nobody likes going. It's frustrating or, you know, however it works. Like it's, if it's hard to do, like thinking for a whole month, 
plan for one week and then you know what double it for the next week and the next week have the same thing like the easiest way to do is have the same kind of meals every day like taco tuesday hamburger friday or whatever something like that we used to do that all the time we had italian wednesday and soup and sandwich thursday just casserole monday just it made it easy to not have to think based on how life is it just depends on what your you know your your season in life is mine it's like it's so different because we're running a lot and doing things i just don't know how it's gonna go so some days it's like oh something simple oh something a little bit more you know complicated that i can do so but i'm glad i'm glad i did this like i said it takes time to do but i got it finished now we're good so what i'm gonna do now is be done for my work part of the day and then we're gonna go enjoy the beach so i'm gonna go get um i think i'm just gonna take snacks water bottles i've got those nuts and cranberries and cut some cheese up and take that with us and um kid that's for me and the kids whatever they want to take there's snack mix there's some fruit in there um whatever they want to take with them to the beach but it's gonna be a good day it's super sunny super hot oh yeah bring on the heat <laughs> But we're looking forward to going and enjoying the ocean, which will be awesome. So, got a thing done? Great day. Okay, we made it till we're heading out the door. So, yeah. I've got my new bag right here. So, I put two towels in there. Got some sunscreen. This is going to hold my batteries and my camera and my phone when I don't need it. I made a small charcuterie, very tiny. So, it has some nuts, cheese, and cranberries, and some salami in there. That's it. I put a little thing of snack mix right there. My water. Greg's got his water. This has... Um, extra mini water bottles like six frozen ones in case the kids are uh, like running out of water so we have it and then this just has extra towels that'll stay in the car so we're gonna go head out see that's where the overnighters stay right there low tide low tide Out, babe. Girl. We made it mm. to the secret so beach. Excited. It's not really secret. Don't tell anyone where we are. <laughs> it's just everybody's back in school, so I think that's the only reason we got <laughs> yeah, in. Yeah, uh, Coquina and uh, Cortez were both pretty empty, out. so we're gonna go ahead to where are we at? Longboat. Longboat Key Honey. Beach. What? It don't matter. I just said. Honey. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. We're gonna go enjoy some sunshine. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> Look at this beach. I like it. So, oh my goodness, this is like there's nobody here. There's like nobody here. We're at the beach in Florida and there's like one person. There's like nobody here. That's just crazy. All right, we're, look at this. We'll find out right while we're here. Look at this. Oh my goodness, is this not beautiful? Beautiful. Oh, babe. Look at no red seaweed. Wow. There's like one, two people. People two people there, there, two people down there, and two people there, and then it's like an entire just us. ocean of sand. Amazing! Yeah. Wow! Look at that. Look at that. Stand right there where it's safe. <laughs> that little bird right there. What would be running to try to get? Maybe you your little clams. <laughs> He's 
just like running real quick and running back out. Yeah, look at all the crustaceans in there. That's cool. I don't think it's a turtle thing, but look at someone made a... Look at that. There's probably a turtle nest in there. Fine. Okay, we'll stay away. It was way awesome. Okay. I definitely don't want to leave. I know, kids are freaking heat stroke, hot stroke. Oh, I think yeah. the great thing was like a jellyfish or something in the water. So that's yeah, that was one little <laughs> tiny jellyfish. One tiny jellyfish, kids, but still scary. Yeah. No, it's We found a uh, half of a conch shell. That was very cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for one of those one of these times. It was real good, so we did good. We brought this little thing we had from Teeny, so this worked out. Yeah, this worked great. It's basically a tablecloth. Yeah. And but without the fuzzy part on yeah, the back. Yeah, it's like plastic. So we just literally sat here with our little bag. Yeah. Easy rinse. We're easy rinse, and now we're packing up ready to roll. Yep. Delicious. Yeah. Oh, it's the back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sand. So much sand. I have, oh, I have all that. Yeah. It's the only thing I'm dreading right now. I forgot to bring some to wipe everything off. Oh, right, so. bro. It's, it's going to be beach sand. <laughs> hey, I'll give up. I'll give up everywhere. My towel. You're going to have to go to Big Dan to clean it. <laughs> I would love to go to Big Dan. <laughs> big Dan's. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go get some stuff. Let's do it. Great day. Sounds like a good treat. Good beach day. Oh, thank you. This is my happy zone. Way to spend it right here. can spend it. And we saw a pelican like dive down the water. That was yep. the last we saw. Fun. Yeah, I know. I, I keep I keep trying to watch the horizon for a dolphin. I know some animal, but yeah, that's what I'd like to see. I'd really love to see a dolphin. But what I did get to see it, which was super awesome to me, were sailboats. Yeah. Like I'm fascinated by sailboats. When I was a little kid. I used to draw, and that's what I would draw. I draw I sailboats. Know, I had no idea. Yeah, I draw the dock and like all that yeah. crazy stuff. But so yeah, that's that's like a charge for me to see them uh, come out. You know, if they're under under engine power, you yes. know, to get free from land or whatever, and then watch them get their get their sails out and do their thing. It's so windy today. I know that they're I know. they're hitting massive waves out in the like how deeper. I'm interested to come here at different times to see like how like obviously it's stirring up a little bit. So when, oh, is, yeah. it, when is it going to be clear and like calm? Yeah, calm. December, January. I don't know. Maybe after hurricane season. Maybe and it's like what probably 92 degrees in that water. It is about as warm as our pool was the one day. It's so hot. It, so. Easily, yeah. When they when they say that like the the oceans are the hottest they've ever been. Oh, they're not lying. They're not lying. They're not lying. It's warm. There's Maddie over there. She's going in the water. Yeah, it's pretty toasty. So. All good. All right, we're gonna go ahead of everything. <laughs> Where are we going next? Stop for slushies. Kids like we need some slushies. Yeah. These nice. I can use a slushie. We could go so. in our pool. I'll go in our pool. I'm going to our I pool. will too. <laughs> yep. All right, so it has been a great day. We've had a fun time. Just a couple hours at the beach. It was hot. It's definitely the water's hot. It's warm outside. I'm like, so we're gonna go jump in our pool. I think our pool is the same temperature right now, but it's bubbling and it's like down to 91 degrees, so it should be nice. So thank you for watching. So you have a fantastic rest of your day. Come back tomorrow. We're gonna make some food. I got a whole list for some Gather Your Fragment Friday. So see you tomorrow. Bye.